begin assessing deep tendon reflexes by testing the biceps reflex. To do this, the patient's arm must be relaxed, partially flexed at the elbow, and positioned with the palm down. To stretch the muscle, depress the biceps tendon with your thumb or index finger. Strike your thumb or finger briskly with the reflex hammer. You should feel the biceps muscle contract and see flexion of the forearm. Here you see a two plus response. Just keep your arm as relaxed as you can. To assess the triceps reflex, flex the patient's arm at the elbow with the palm toward the body and pull the arm slightly across the chest. Strike the triceps tendon above the elbow. Watch for contraction of the triceps muscle and extension at the elbow. Here you see two plus responses. To elicit the brachioradialis reflex, the patient's forearms should rest on the lap with the palms down. When the patient is ready, strike the radius one to two inches above the wrist. Observe for flexion and supination of the forearm. Again, you see two plus responses. To test the knee reflex, locate the patellar tendon in the patient's flexed knee. Briskly tap the tendon just below the patella. Feel for contraction of the quadriceps and look for extension of the knee. These are two plus responses. To test the ankle reflex, extend the patient's leg somewhat at the knee, dorsiflex the ankle firmly, and strike the Achilles tendon. Feel and watch for plantar flexion. These are two plus responses. Support your foot. To elicit the plantar response, stimulate the lateral aspect of the sole of the foot from the heel to the ball, curving medially across the ball. Use the lightest stimulus that will provoke a response. Note movement of the toes, normally flexion. Dorsiflexion of the big toe with fanning of the other toes is a pathological response known as the Babinski response.